Hey, what's up, guys? We're going to spend a couple of minutes talking about the scriptural uh, metaphor of people going through the fire and coming out on the other side purified like gold or silver. If you've ever heard these uh, scriptures uh, preached on or taught or read them for yourselves, hopefully this will add a little bit of clarification and give some insight into those particular verses and passages. So it's not uncommon for the Bible to refer to uh, us going through a refining process, something uh, like fire, and talking about coming through as gold, how we'll be purified. Uh, and Peter talks about our faith being um, purified and tried as gold in a fire. And when you think about this, it makes perfect sense because what God is most often concerned about when it comes to people whether it be something that he's going to bless us with, whether it be a new uh, area of ministry, something he wants to bring us into, uh, whatever it is, God is most often concerned about our character, who we are, um, <clears throat> what our relationship with him is going to be going forward, going through a trial or going through blessing. It doesn't matter what it is. He wants to know that. Well, the fact of the matter is that trials do not create character. A lot of people will say things like, oh my goodness, that was totally out of character for him or her. Or, you know, I can't believe she said that. That's just not her. Uh, she was just really stressed, right? Or he was, oh, he was just having a really bad day. And that's, that's why he, well, in reality, a trial or stress brings out character. Fire reveals character. It doesn't create it. And God knows this. And of course, we intuitively know this, that who you are deep down, under stress, under pressure, that's who really comes out. All the facades and all that stuff gets stripped away, and who we really are, it becomes known. And so God uses the things of this life. He will use trials or tests or things that we go through. It doesn't mean he's always putting us through it. Uh, take something like with Abraham. God clearly was the one who launched that whole test uh, where he said, hey, I want you to sacrifice your son. Then when Abraham's about to follow through with it, knowing, hey, this is crazy. God doesn't want human sacrifice. This is not who God is, but I know this is what God is saying. And the Bible even talks about in Hebrews how Ab Abraham reasoned in himself that, well, I guess, you know, God is able to raise my son back from the dead. I have faith that God promised that it's through my son that, you know, my seed is going to, you know, continue on. And so we know he worked through this in his mind, but he was going to do it. And God said, ah, wait, now I know. Well, he's God, but he knows everything. Yeah, but he still wants us, even his in his foreknowledge, he doesn't abuse it. In his foreknowledge, he doesn't say, well, I know this person later down the road is going to fail me and turn away from me, so I'm not going to bless them today, even though that's 40 years from now. He doesn't do that. And so he allows us to make those decisions. He allows it to, quote unquote, you know, kind of play out, even though he knows what the end result's going to end up being. So when we go through trials and things of that nature, it's not always just for God to see, oh man, whoa, I put him through the test. Now I know. Well, it's so we know. It's so it can be revealed to us or to others. God, why won't you bless me? Then he gives us an opportunity to maybe give like we should or get in a consistent mode of you living by biblical principles uh, in which God can bless us. And then he puts us through something and we fail that test. And he says, see, that's why I'm not going to bless you even more than what, you, uh, than what you've already received. Um, maybe he wants to take us into a new area of ministry. We're going to have the impact or the ability to impact even more people. Right now we're ministering, you know, mostly to our family or to close friends and stuff. And God wants to take us and start ministering to a broader group of people. Well, that also means that we're going to be able to impact them. If we fall, if we fail, if we mess up, guess what? It's going to impact even more people. So maybe he'll test us and try us in a, in a smaller vein to see, will you be able to handle this going forward? 
And guess what? It makes us stronger. It reveals our character. If we mess up, if we fail, it reveals ways that we can, okay, I need to work on that. I need to pray about that. I need to become stronger in this area. It's not so God can go, oh, wow, I'm glad I didn't mess up and put them there. It's so that we can then in turn make those adjustments, move through, just like with Job, where Job was tested. God allowed Job to go through that. And guess what? Came out on the other side. Job said, now I've seen God. Now I have a relationship with God I didn't have before because of this trial. And that gets to my point I was making earlier. God doesn't always do what he did with Abraham. Sometimes he just allows things to transpire that were normal things that were going to happen anyways. He didn't save us from it. He watches and gives us the strength to go through them, but watches to see how we handle it. Why? Back to the very beginning, he's concerned about our character. So when we're going through the trial, I I actually uh, wove this into the message from this past Sunday, but if we're going through a trial, uh, we should look at it as an opportunity to grow and develop in our character, in our faith, in our um, ministry, use it as an opportunity to grow and strengthen and become even more of what God needs us to be. So I hope that has uh, provided a little bit more clarity and understanding that refining process. We're going to be like like gold. Guess what? We've got to heat up the fire so that the other stuff, the dross, the things that are not good can be taken out and we can be purified. So submit ourselves to the uh, potter's wheel, uh, submitting ourselves to that process of of purification is the way to go. And remember, our loving Father is there with us through the process. Our brothers and sisters in Christ are there with us through that process. So we should lean on these and see it through and become the people of character that God needs us to be. I love you guys. Be blessed. Hope this has helped, and we'll catch you on the next video.